Why hello there everyone and welcome back to another update video on Terrifying Tints. Yes, this is the third big ol' update of this, what's it called, mini game world thingy. Now let's go ahead and just start the game because I can start it and that will be fine. However, this, this new update has six brand new events. So altogether we now have 41 events. We have also introduced a store island right over there a couple more islands which who knows may have something in the future we have now added a players left counter so this will show how many players are left in the battlefields but let's go ahead and check out the update some events were also slightly updated such as the storm it will now end 10 seconds after it finishes closing so uh you know storm effect isn't always there because it's a bit annoying the tent has also been changed, it's not a, a crazy room anymore, I got a bit of galaxy back there, I thought I would keep that. Uh, yeah, it was a bit crazy before, because I didn't know what to do in here. Tried to want to make it like a tent, however, I just didn't know how to do that. So, I just went for like a marble with a nice wood floor, and it, it looks a bit more hammer than what it was. But anyway, this room used to be an AFK room, it is no longer an AFK room you will be teleported into the actual game if you stay in this room. Let's check this update out. Add six new events. Ammo was given out. Someone has the cure. An island is trapped in paradise. Mobile scrap joined. A CF has appeared. And someone can swing around. Currency was added which can be used at the store. So let's start with currency. You will get 20 currency for winning a round and 10 currency for opening a safe. Now I do remember when you buy these things at the shop, if you die or leave the game at the minute, you will lose the effects and you will have to pay for them once again. And uh, I think it's really cool you can run around the bridge here, or run across the bridge, because before it was just gonna be like a teleporter button, but no, you can, you can walk the whole way across now. So over here, oh no, excuse me, my mouse is dying, so I sometimes can't move. But over here, we have got the VFX side. There might be another store coming to the store side soon. But these here will add VFXs to your character. You have like the angel halo ring thingamabobber here. You have these cool white big old squares that appear in your head and then you know follow behind you which looks really cool you had the classic flowery one which was from uh, loop beasts which i really like i tried to do a different version of it here though and lastly is my favorite one the raindrop effect this bounces off the raindrops off your skin so it looks like there's rain bouncing off your character but there's not actually rain it's really weird then over here the yellow one don't ever burn me again it gives you an outline on your character this middle one i know it looks the same as this however it will change your color depending on the team color you're in it's only blue because team one is the blue color but you've got the blue color you got the pinkish magenta color and you've got the orange color and again you can't spend coins and get all of that and there is a button there to clear the effects if you win, you will also get a yellow glow on you, so people in the next round know that you were the last winner. And sign has also been added for the mountain parkour, so people, you know, know that the mountain parkour is this way. Oh no, my mouse has died again. But let's uh, stop the round and actually take a look at some of these events. Now, another event that was slightly changed was the 1v1 event. When you get teleported here, you will be trapped in a box and you'll get this. It says, oh, you're in a 1v1, beat the other person. And if you click the button, it will get rid of the box or else if you wait like 10 seconds, it will also get rid of the box. Same for the person on the other side. Hold on a second. I'm going to go and get some new batteries. Oh. And we're back with new batteries. But yes, same thing on this side. The zone for this area has also been changed to a sphere. So if you fly out of it, I mean, that's going to disappear. And if the other guy doesn't have a flying thing, then rest in peace them. Now, while we were playing testing this, there were a few bugs. However, I think that was just maybe our game. So if you find any bugs, please let me know either on Twitter on Discord, something along those lines. But anyway, let's look at these six events. First one is the ammo one. It gives two random ammos to every single person in the map. So it could be two sets of arrows, two sets of medium, one set of heavy, one set of small, you know, those sort of things. And they're pretty balanced amounts. Now the second one here is someone has the cure. You will get this little 
green thing and when you use it you'll of course lose the item however it will get rid of the slime effect it will stop the healing effect but it will also stop slowly dying effect and it will stop the freezer feet and any other effects that you get with classes such as the 50 50 murderer or imposter should i say sheriff all of those it will uh, stop those the next one is the an island is trapped in paradise i really like this one basically a random island is chosen to have a barrier around it so you could be playing on one island and still see in the barrier however whoever's in the island can't see out and they're just stuck in this paradise of a lovely sky and can't see any of the troubles outside you're stuck in there for about a minute now where we're flying back down here another event that was updated was the turret the turret has half the health it did before it now only has 100 health so if you get another weapon and need to destroy that turret, it's going to be a lot easier. Another one that was updated was the Victory Royale, which may need nerfed again, but you do get a Chug Chug and Dual Pistols, which do a lot of damage still, but less ammo, so it's all good. Now one here, which uh, I, I like, I quite like this one, is Mobile Scrap Join the Game. If you don't know, there is a device called the Guard Device. And if you also don't know, Kip Bash is my main skin, because I mean, he's made out of trash and he's mobile, so mobile scrap. Well, this hit guard type is my skin with a slightly different style. So you can go up to me and hire me, and I will have a shotgun, a makeshift shotgun, because it's pretty much scraps, and I will fight for whoever hired me. To be warned, the wag will still die. The other one here is a safe has appeared. This little fella here is a safe and you can go up to it and of course take some money out. It's a random island once again, takes five seconds to open so be careful other people do not try to eliminate you. And then lastly, someone can swing around. Unfortunately, this one is sort of bugged, not because of me, but because of Fortnite themselves, because this grappler glove thing grapples on to invisible barriers, invisible devices and stuff, and it is very annoying. <laughs> so, so annoying, but uh, hopefully that will be fixed in the future. So that's all the six new events. Again, some have been updated, such as the storm. Someone's been turned into a storm. The effect has been changed to look a wee bit more cloudy before. It didn't look really great. So I've changed that a bit and you also don't have as much ammo. And then last but not least is a slowly dying one. You will now stop slowly dying after one minute. So you will lose 60 to 61 health. However, you can again stop this effect if you get life free gem or if someone gives you the cure and you use the cure on yourself. And then of course you will still have 40 health left, however I might change that to only allow you to have 10 health left to make it a bit more risque. Lastly again, there was a barrier added so you can't go way out here. You know, you will stop and can't fly to those islands because uh, I think you could fly to these bad boys over here before. Now, you can not. What are these? I have no idea what's on the notes, but okay, okay. But yes, that is everything new inside of this terrifying tense update. Again, it is out right now, so you can go ahead and check it out for yourselves. There'll be a link in the description or a code in the description, which you can paste into Fortnite and play this game for yourself. Just remember, you need two or more people to play. Anyway, I'm your host today, Mr. Mobile. Remember to check out my socials, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.